What's going on, viewer? One idea ahead here. And would you know it? I'm in America. And with America comes American currency. And with American currency comes a flying swan. Not really, but you get the idea. I want to show you guys how to make this paper swan. This is origami. And I'll show you steps how to do it. Now, before I get into all that, this is actually a response video to a contest held by iSpy99. And his video, or his, sorry, his YouTube channel is, will be in the description down below, down there somewhere. So check it out. And I also got to apologize for video quality. I'm having to use my computer, which the fan's pretty loud. And uh, I got a tacky band aid on, but you guys don't want to see that. So let's get started. Now, the trick is, you can use Abe here, but the problem with uh, this bill, it's already got folds in it, it's worn out, there's a lot of crinkles in it. You don't want that. What you want is something fresh, brand new, as crisp as you can get it, no creases. That's ideal. Now, you can certainly use good old Abe here, but it's going to be a little harder when you're trying to make creases and you'll need to, you know, have something. You got to want to make it fly, right? So, I'll show you again. This real up close. That's what it's going to look like, hopefully, when we're done. So, I guess the best way to start is actually taking this apart. And the reason for it is there's a basic shape we're going to obtain that's going to leave all these creases in it. Now, origami, generally speaking, has a square to work with. And if you fold a bill in half, you'll notice it's still rectangular. So what we want to do is turn this into a square. How do we do that? Actually, fairly simple. You'll notice this has plenty of creases in it, but you'll notice right here where I fold two ends in, and now that's a square. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. First, it really doesn't matter which way you want to fold it. Um, what you'll do is you'll realize after doing this a couple times which side you want to have facing up, down, so you, you know, it looks different. So we're going to fold it in half. Now, to get a perfect square, we're going to fold one end in and make a triangle out of it. And we're going to crease this. Make sure you crease it, use your nail or something. And now you notice we have a, a certain measured space here on top. What we're going to do is fold this over and make this into a triangle. Make sure this corner here is as sharp as possible. And then if you look here, you want to bunch that up as, as best you can and give that a good crease. So now what you've done is you've created a triangle that's going to allow you to make sure that when you're when you open it up that's a square and all you got to do for the other side is fold it over and mate the corners up and fold that down here now crease that one more time you've got a square albeit double thickness but you've got a square so though we're going to start with making the basic shapes by doing a whole bunch of creases but the patterns very very simple look at your square that you have this is a dollar or a twenty dollar bill and notice you can put a there's a crease here we're going to need to get to both sides so we're going to go ahead and make that crease now this is going to give us our first of many we're going to take it do it the same way but now the opposite ends so there again, you see I'm just kind of squeezing this, you don't need to push it on the table, but so now we've got all these corners. What we want to do next is take one end, and you'll notice there's a crease down here, bring that to the crease as best you can to make a point up here. Now this first one's very important because it'll measure the rest of them later. So we crease that in. Now we're going to do the same thing with this side. Bring it up. Make sure that tip stays true. And bring it on in. Fantastic. You're not halfway, but you're getting close. 
Alright, so now we have something that, I don't know, it looks like a torch, something like that. Open it up, do the same thing to the opposite sides. Now I'm going to keep doing this real time so you don't have to keep pausing it. Maybe you can follow along, I'll, I'll do this slow so you can keep with me. Because otherwise we pause more time overall. Again, make both sides meet up. Make sure your point stays sharp. Okay, so now we've done that. You guessed it. Time to do the third corner. And you're going to do this for all corners, and you'll see one of it. Aim that up. True story about this, I actually tried to teach my 5th grade class how to do this for show and tell, and uh, it worked, but i am since become a terrible teacher, so I'm not going to try and, try and uh, say that was fantastic, for all I know, you know, they were all brilliant geniuses, so we'll find out here in a couple more years, won't we? Now we've got one more corner here, we're going to finish up. Okay, so now we've got all four corners, and you'll see we kind of have this little, I don't know, bowl, whatever you want to call it, diamond shape going on, and we're almost there, but we're not, not quite finished yet. What we need to do is fold this in half, away from the, see how this is kind of caved in here? I'm going to fold it away from that cave. Make sure it's good. Alright. We're going to do the same this way. We'll crease that. Okay. So. We have now a little diamond or star or whatever pattern. What we want to do is kind of bring these corners together. You only notice on this side we're having a little bit of problems, so what I like to do is push from the back and pop those little pieces out as I'm doing this. It's a little hard the first time, but you'll you'll get the hang of it. What what you can do is fold these in. Notice it's kind of making a little cone, maybe weird cone, but it's having a little bit of a hard time, and there's a reason for that. What we need to do is make sure these are, are consistent and good to go. So what happened here is when I made those those folds in half, they weren't sharp enough. So what I need to do is go back, and this this could happen on any part of the process. But you need this is just an example of why it's, it might not work the first time. If those creases aren't really true, your your object is not going to come together. In this case, a swan. So I'm going back and redoing that, make sure those creases are firm. And now hopefully we're getting somewhere, which looks like we are. Alright. So there you have, uh, I guess you call it a basic platform for a lot of origami. A lot of origami shapes get to this stage. So you can also create other things from here. But what we're going to do now is see how we've got these indents, we're going to fold those indents the rest of the way down. So I'm going to carry this through all the way to the tip and collapse that side in. And to make it easy, I'm going to go to the opposite side and do the same thing. I'm going to push that in all the way to the top and all the way down to the bottom. And we are just about finished, believe it or not. And we're going to go ahead and push all that down, make sure it gets creases in it. And now it's real simple, just fold this over. Because you want to do that to all four sides. And fold this side over. So now, do that a couple times. Just open, like so, like so. So now what you have, what I like to do is look at my corner, look at my ends. So that's not quite perfect. That's not quite perfect. That's really good. And that's okay. So what we want to do is take that really good side and open it up, because that's going to be our beak. And then open the opposite side, that's going to be our tail. And what we want to do here 
is open it up the rest of the way. So we're going to squeeze both ends and bring them together. So it looks like this. Now what you can do here is just simply pinch in one hand, pinch in the other, fold it down until you get that angle of what the bill might be in. Now you do the same and then pinch it down. So now you've got two ends and you can adjust those. Those don't have to be you'll get an idea of what it looks like. So that's the tail. Let's to make the head, we're just going to push down on it while squeezing it. Plumes out right there. We want that. Because we're going to fold it in. Like so. And we're going to get that bill. Now you can see where this is it's important. If you're being sloppy in your folds, that's going to look like it does now. But you get that. you get the general idea. Or, as you can see it's taking shape. To bring the wings, there's a trick to make them fly. First you fold it straight up. So rather than folding it back down again, we're going to leave a space here, about an eighth of an inch. We're going to pinch it so we don't fold over it, and back down. So what's going to happen is that's going to create an angle. It's going to be down here straight to the corner, but there's a space to slip forward. And we're going to go to the both sides, do the same thing over here. Alright, so now, check that out. Matter of minutes, we got a swan. And to make it fly, you pinch here, right at the front of the wings, and you pull the tail. And when the tail spat, because of the angle we put the wings, it flies. So, hope you had fun with this. You can, if you want to put in a gift card, just fold it up like this, so you can see it's a, you know, swan when you first open it up. And I think they'll get a kick out of it. So, who knows? Maybe I'll be sitting on your. Uh, table like that for a couple years as a memorabilia but when you're done as you saw me open the first one you know just roll a couple times hopefully the US government won't come at you knocking your door saying you're destructing their uh, currency but you know you can still pass it off as a $20 bill alright hope you had fun again check out iSpy double at 99 he has a great channel he has all kinds of gear uh, reviews on his Oakleys and recently he's been doing a couple different ones of like survival and uh pistol and that sort of thing so I can tell his channel the, is definitely going to be growing fast and uh, hope the best to him and his family and down in Florida I, w I wish it would be nice down there because uh, it's snowing up here wish I could be down there right now so um, best of luck to all of you and hopefully when you make these uh, they, you know they turn out reasonably well practice if you're just sitting on the metro on your way to work or, or have some free time just try to do a couple of these and before long you know, you'll be showing someone else how to do it so, thank you for watching. Again, this is One Idea Ahead. Please subscribe. Got all kinds of videos planned for uh, coming up soon, so thanks.